you've had to perform the national anthem several times. Um, is is that tough? It's one of those songs that you really should know the words and what why they were written mm-hmm. because it's very very moving. But you, but you better know what you're doing because when those jets fly overhead, uh, it will you'll go huh what? So what? <laughs> so you perform Stadium of Fire, yes. the national anthem at the Stadium of Fire, and I thought it was spectacular. Um, and as you're finishing. Uh, you're ready to sing Home of the Brave. You look up and here come those three F-35s. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, how do you, what is that like? What, what is that like for a performer to finish that song? And you see the Jets before everyone else because you're actually looking that way. Mm-hmm. And I, w- I, I thought, what, what's that like? When It's the most exhilarating. I mean, it brings tears to your right. eyes. Guys, I love this country. I mean, I... I have done many, many shows with USO, and yeah. Bob Hope was like mm-hmm. a second dad to me. And so when you see firsthand what our military does to allow us the freedoms that we do in this country, um, ooh, I'm, it's so hard for me, because I've been in those medical tents. Right. And, ooh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I, I just, I don't understand people that don't honor them. Because they deserve it. Not just them, but their families. They sacrifice so much. And so anything I can do for them, I, and that's why I love this, this last show at, on the 4th, yeah. is because it went worldwide to all of, of the servicemen and women. Mm-hmm. 170 countries, I think Yeah, it was. it was like, I don't know how many millions Where of people. Where the air bases. And but they all saw that show.